Hey everyone, it's Amanda Stevens with Proving Grounds and I'm here with EG's Ricky Ortiz at Final Round. How's it going? Um, pretty good, just uh, hanging out and don't play till tomorrow. So just here a little early to try to get some practice in to get sharp for tomorrow. All right, so last season was not a, a super great season for you. Uh, the Chun-Li nerf seemed to really hurt you and you didn't seem to really be able to pick up a different character. Uh, how are you feeling coming into uh, season three slash arcade edition? Yeah, well, season two, definitely I took a hit in season two because I just wasn't into Chun-Li really that much. Um, my love for the character overall made me play with her just because I feel with her ultimately I have the most fun in the game playing with her than any other character. I feel like I don't enjoy the game so much when I play a different character. So I just stuck with Chun-Li. And um, last year I, I kind of wanted to take a small break and just kind of have some personal time to myself and just kind of grow upon myself as a person overall for the year. And so this year I definitely come back with a more clear mindset and definitely more happy to play. And I'm enjoying my character a lot right now. I think she's pretty good and she got a little couple buffs here and there. And I think she's able to compete. So I'm definitely looking forward to this season. Uh, what do you think of the new V-Trigger? Are you still sticking with V-Trigger 1 or are you, have you switched to 2? I, I definitely think V-Trigger 1 is still the more versatile and better V-Trigger. I would say V-Trigger 2 is good against characters that wouldn't have like a wake-up reversal or you know things to that nature. Um, there's, there's a lot of cool setups with it. There's a lot of cool, there's, there's some big damage with it. There's some cool tricks and gimmicks with it. But overall, I'm a very, the, I, I really base my game off stability, so I like V-Trigger 1. But um, this tournament, I'm going to play both of them most likely, because I've been playing V-Trigger 2 a lot lately, and I want to kind of test it out in tournament and see how it is. Um, so Capcom announced a, a, a bunch of changes to the Pro Tour this year, you know, how point distribution works, uh, you know, do you have any thoughts about the changes? Do you think that they're good for the tour? Do you think that they're going to hurt some players? Um, I think the fact that there's no online anymore, I definitely like that. I understand that um, it gives a lot of players opportunity, but I also think that the, if they're going to have online, it shouldn't be worth so many points. I feel like it was worth so much points in the past that it was like, it, if you win a couple online events, because like a lot of the pro players don't really enter online events. If you win a couple online events, you're pretty much guaranteed for a Capcom Cup. But I do think that the tour this year, it seems like more points are more gauged only based towards premier events. And I think that's, that's good and bad, I feel, because it's, it's good for the players who can travel consistently, but it's bad for the players who can't. Because, I mean, every premier event is pretty much international. You know, there's, there's a couple here in the U.S., but the, the bulk of them are going to be in different countries, you know. So if you're, if you're able to travel to those and be a sponsored player, then definitely I think it's a, it's a good advantage because you can go to all those and try to accumulate points and be in Capcom Cup. But I feel like if you're not, it's going to be kind of difficult, which I think that kind of hurts the scene a little bit. Uh, speaking of sponsorship, uh, you've been doing the sort of professional uh, fighting game player thing for quite some time, uh, and you've definitely gotten to see the esports side of the FGC grow over the years. Uh, are you surprised at just like how how big the scene has gotten and how, how many sponsorships there, I mean, some, some people say there aren't that many sponsorships, but how many sponsorships and teams there are these days? Um, it's definitely surprising because I mean, playing back then when I played like 20 plus years ago, like just starting out fighting games, I would never imagine to, but I would never have imagined it to be my career. Like I, I would always play and go to tournaments and win a couple dollars here and there, but I never imagined it to be something I could do for the rest of my life. You know, I th I thought it was just something for fun. You know, and I think it's pretty awesome that we're it we're in the era that we are now where esports are so big, and we get to actually do something we love for a living. I think it's really awesome, and I think there's definitely more to come for the FGC. It's already I think it's already amazingly amazingly big right now compared to what it was back then, but it's only getting bigger, and there's only so much there's so much more teams that are like starting to get into the in, into the fighting game scene. So I think it's pretty amazing. Um, has there been, do you think that having it become sort of your full-time job has either added more pressure to you or maybe taken some of the fun of, of fighting games away from you? Um, definitely. I think there's give and take with that because I, I think um, even when I played for fun, there were times when I'd play too much and I'd burn myself out and get a little bored every now and then. But um, I would say it's about the same. Like, I mean, there's pressure, of course, but I've been playing so long that I'm never really nervous in that sense. So I always just like try to have a good time, and ultimately, whenever I'm at a tournament, I feel like those are my most 
enjoyable times because I am a very competitive person and I love the competition. So when I get where I get to compete and play people at a high level, it's always my my the, the most fun that I always have when I play fighting games. So every time I come, it's always an enjoyable experience. All right, and sort of a last question: Who is your favorite person to play against to give you like a real challenge? Um, my favorite person to play against, I would have to say, is Mago. I like playing Mago a lot. Every time we're at events together, we always end up playing each other all the time, and we play like like massive sets all the time. It's so fun to play him because uh, I think I like playing him because we have very similar play styles. We both play very fast paced and play very active footsies and I like to play against players who play like that. All right, and is there anybody you want to shout out or say anything to your fans? I want to say I love all my fans. I hope, you, hope I can meet you guys at more events and shout out to EG, I love you guys. Thank you for sponsoring me for so long. You guys are the best. All right, and thank you, Ricky. And remember everybody that eSports is for everyone.